Hi chaps, it's a fairly brisk autumn day. I'm also working but I've come out for lunch to take part in the Canteen Cup Tuesday. So I'll make this a very quick one hopefully. here. Hopefully get a wee burn test as well. Today I'm going to use the Lexada wood stove that I have. Anybody that watches my videos will know that um, I've not had a lot of success with this out in the field Mainly due to the horrid wet weather all the time So I'm hoping that today we'll have a bit more success because I have dry wood with me So that's the plan Load it up put a wee video on, sorry not a video, it was a, supposed to just be a photograph but um, I put a quick photograph on of this birch bark because um, uh, and all my timber, I tried to you know separate all that out during the week for this very purpose. I'm going to stack this thing up because I haven't had much success. I just leave all my kit out here on this blanket. Get some wood shavings. I actually know how long this will take to get going but as soon as I have a flame I'm going to use it anyway because it's canteen cup so it doesn't matter if the flames lick over it or whatever but I'm certainly hoping that this gets started you know what we have here I think the wind's coming that way. So.
so let that keep burning and see if it takes trying to do that top down burn you know where it, it gets the the wood at the bottom so here's the recipe for today I've just got some wee mini pepper ammies gonna cut them in Probably sitting too close to it. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like the bottom looks like the wood's definitely engaging, which is good. I have got more wood here if I need it. I'm not going to mess about waiting for coals. It's in a cup, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get that in there, get it on and get it going so that I can make the most of this lunch. As you can see, the problem with that wee stove, it's not that steady for the canteen cup. I've lost the pot stand for it. I don't know where it is, it's got all messed out and falling out in my gear. Actually, I should probably put the beans in as well. Get those beans in. Well, the wood at the bottom definitely seems to be burning. This won't take long anyway, it's only a wee tin of beans. So I'm not expecting to have to sit here for any length of time. Mostly I wanted to test out my tinders, you know, my kindling and stuff. You know, and try that top down burn with this stove and see if I can get it actually working. Especially if it's dry weather at the moment. time for beans, you know what I mean? I'm just going to heat them up. I didn't really have a lot of options in the house, so I just went, pulled out whatever was in the cupboard, basically. I don't know if you can see at the bottom, but I've actually set the wood at the bottom on fire. So as soon as this is heated up, I'm probably going to have to douse this out pretty quickly. I'll maybe put some water on them. They were just spare wee pieces of wood anyway. Hopefully that's sorted out that initial problem. Well, for anybody that doesn't have this stove or hasn't tried it, one of the things I can tell you for sure is you need to keep feeding wood into it especially if you're trying to cook.
I think probably I'll try and get a better sized cup for this because the canteen cup isn't great. It's not that steady and also the wee um, camping set that I got as well, although it's a wider base, it's not very heavy either. So again, it's not ideal either. Cheesy beanos, you can't beat it. See, it's kind of going down a wee bit, but I don't think that'll matter. You'll probably see then from that burn test, you've got to be really, really careful what kind of surface you put that on. Because obviously it's, you know, got all that space at the bottom and you can see yourself, the flames just licked right out and set all that wood on fire that I had set it on. They were just spare wee bits, so it's fine. Also my pot stand's melting. My pot grabber. Probably get caught. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've not really come out with stuff that I would be, you know, using in the field, all of it. It's mostly just a wee stove test. I'm also not worrying about that pot grabber thing. It was like a pound from the pound shop. I'm not got my pocket bellows with me, so... Just really enough for the cheese to melt and that's us ready. Well, as I said, this was just really a really very quick lunch test. I wanted to make sure I could get this stove going. Heat up some lunch. I'm really pleased with the tinders. Uh, they worked really well. It was definitely enough to get that top down burn. So, fairly pleased. My goodness, look at that. Bubble, 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 bubble. There we go, guys. Canteen Cup Tuesday. Mini pepperami cheesy beanos. You can't beat it. I'm just feeding a wee bit of wood into that to keep me warm now while I eat this. Oh, you can't beat cheesy beanos are great. Love 
both ways. I'm looking underneath at that and it looks like more flame underneath. Yep. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, I better get packed up and get back to work. <laughs> it was a yummy lunch though. No, canteen cup Tuesday. Cheesy beanos with mini pepperamis. Lovely. So I'll get packed up, put that fire out with the rest of the water and get back to work. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all soon. Bye!